I think if you look at the history of infectious diseases, we've only eradicated one infectious disease in man, and that's smallpox. That's not going to happen with this virus. Then there's elimination. Elimination means when you get rid of it in your own country, but it's somewhere not in your country, but it's there. For example, polio has been eliminated in the United States and many developing nations. So what's the next one up the ladder is control. Control means you have it present, but it is present at a level that does not disrupt society. And I think that's what most people feel when they talk about endemicity, where it is integrated into the broad range of infectious diseases that we experience. For example, the cold weather upper respiratory infections, the para-influenzas, the respiratory syncytial viruses, the rhinovirus, the adenoviruses. You want to get it at a level that doesn't disrupt society. That's the answer to your first question. That's my definition of what endemicity would mean, a non-disruptive presence without elimination.